Yeah, it's a beautiful day, always a beautiful day to be alive and then uh, to talk about issues. Yeah, the reality of issues, real people, real issues and real solutions, how we can be able to, um, you know, to journey this life without giving up and without regretting our existence, but to maximize. I, I love the scripture, John 10.10, 10, that says that the thief came to steal, uh, to destroy and to kill but Jesus came to give life and life in its abundance. The reason as to why I bring this out is I believe that God intended that the relationships will be a source of happiness and not a source of turmoil and um, and death and killing and you know regret and you know and crying and all that just like we usually say that it's the same thing that gives us happiness that but the same thing that gives us the deepest heartaches and the deepest worries but I believe that God God's intention is that we will have life and live in its abundance we will enjoy relationships but here on this um on this um podcast on this chat we talk about the tears and the things they are in how to go about them so that we can achieve god's dream about relationships which is happiness there's something i wrote mm. some time some time back mm -hmm. uh, i hope i can be able to find it um oh no yeah life has taught me a lot mm -hmm. And lately, I've been eager to learn how to respond when life throws big stones, mm -hmm. small stones, and annoying stones at me. Mm -hmm. I've taught myself uh, to believe in me and, and choose me and be happy with me because um, we, we don't choose or we don't send an application somewhere for the challenges and for the turmoil yeah. or the storms that come at us. Mm. Sometimes they come. But you know, when they come, you, you can choose to be you. Mm. Some people have chosen to run mad, crazy, and uh, I've chosen everything Give that up life. I've chosen everything that works against them long term. Mm. But I, I like the way God has been helping me here. Mm. That you throw a big stone at me, I choose how to respond when you throw the stone. You don't just react. I don't give you the satisfaction that I am bleeding and I am dying. Mm. I choose me even when you hit me real hard. Mm. You know, I classify the stones, the big st the big stones, the small stones, and the, the annoying, annoying stones. stones. <laughs> I know, I know. And some of them can really be annoying. Yeah, yeah, really annoying. Very, very annoying. Like you had a different expectations and all of a sudden it's a totally different exactly. thing that is being delivered. But you know, the, the worst stones are in relationships. Mm. Because you know, I think it was Hilda who was teaching somewhere and she said, the worst kind of pain is out mm. there. Mm. I mean, the, 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 the worst kind of pain is internal. Internal to mean the person you least expected, you know, either family. Yeah. You eat with. You hey, like your closest the friend, closest. the one you went with to school, yes. through high school, university, yeah. Yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, that friend you know, like that, it, that it you've couldn't. trusted. It, it that should have been another person, not built, you. Yeah, built expectations, loved so, so much, mm. and trusted without, as in can get into your bedroom. Yeah. When that person hurts you, oh, the pain is The pain so is bad. Yeah, you can deal with any form of pain outside you can learn how to handle. Mm. But learning to handle betrayal by a brother, by betrayal by a cousin, by Someone a sister, close. You by, hold uh, dear. by your wife, by your husband, it's, oh. it's intense, it's Very painful. painful. But those are relationships. Yeah. And you know, we're not just going to uh, uh, wind up human humanity and uh, end up with some uh, uh, animals somewhere. Mm -mm. Okay. We're still going We're to, deal, going with to deal with human beings. Even when they hurt us, even when they, even when we bleed in the we will still deal with exactly. humans at exactly. a certain point. Because th that's the working of God mm -hmm. that He has given you some humans somewhere to here to relate with. with and to work with. That's true. And I usually say if there's anyone who has suffered at the place of relationships mm. is God. Mm. Uh, just imagine creating a human being in your own image and them turning against you. They betray you. And mm -hmm. they betray betray you so um it's it's a wonderful school it's the only place where you cannot graduate you keep evolving you keep learning, learning. you keep getting better mm. you know and uh, so for how long will you frown that's why i said I i've know. learned mm. to let things go when you throw a big stone 
a small stone and an, an annoying, annoying stone, stone, I have a response. But when I am responding, I first choose me. I must smile. Protect your life, peace. No, I must smile. Life is too short yeah, to, be, I know. To, to be annoyed over to be everything, gloomy. to um, uh, to be fighting with everything and with and everyone. everyone. It's too short. Mm. So I first smile. And I'm like, so what? It, it will has pass. happened. It will pass. No, it has already happened mm. that you've thrown the stone. If you're expecting me to dance and somersault, nope. Mm. Try harder. Mm-hmm. Bring more annoying stones. Mm-hmm. Let's see <laughs> how annoying that will be. And one of the things that we're, talk- uh, we're talking about today is really, uh, I think, an annoying stone. It's not a big, <laughs> small, but it the is annoying. an annoying stone, oh. like an annoying and stone. Is, uh, I know, because uh, when we get into relationships, there is a way, naturally, God created it in us that we develop expectations, okay? Especially when the attachment comes on, when you go into the commitment and any kind of relationship be it by the way it's a relationship that you started last week or two months ago or it's a relationship that you've been in for the past eight years or it's a marriage that has children or it was even a marriage that is a holy matrimony that was blessed by god you walked down the aisle and all that we have been getting questions and i think um most of them are rotating around um spouses living their spouses. Before you go mm. to that, mm. let me add something small, just to emphasize what you were mm-hmm. saying. When you go into a negotiation anywhere, mm. there's always, okay, there's always what we call a memorandum of understanding mm-hmm. or a, an agreement that you draw. Mm-hmm. The most important part in that agreement are the expectations. Yes. Usually when I receive a contract or when I receive um, an MOU, MOU yeah. the first I flip to that place. Mm. What is m- expected of me and what, is what expect- do I expect of the other party? So the expectations mm. is the glue mm. to a relationship. Yes. Expectations I keep my built, end of the deal. are built mm. when there is a covenant, when there is a commitment, mm. when there is an agreement between two people. Mm. So when those expectations are not met, that's why we bleed. That there is that's breach of contrast. Of there is contract. a breach of contract. Yeah. It's painful. So in a relationship, you've made me believe a certain side of you. And that's what I have taken in. Mm. So when you begin to deviate, when you begin to take a different road and become another person. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. You're cutting my heart open. And when it comes to memorandums of understanding and, you know, all those things in the work arena or the, rela- the, the partnerships and all that, this is an emotional thing. When we talk about romantic relationships, it, it goes is an emotion. It goes deeper. That we are not going to write these expectations, but they exist nonetheless. Okay? No. They exist. H- Hilda. It is even a worse form. Yep. You know, when you write on paper and sign, mm. that's it. But these ones are written on the heart. On the heart. You so expect. So waking up, because what, we're going, what, what we'll be talking about today is mm. when someone walks away. Mm-hmm. What happens? I'm dealing with what I've written on my heart. I thought I was going to be with you forever. <laughs> I've Just written, imagine, forever. I've written on my heart mm. with ink that is... Uh, that I cannot easily... You erase. Just wake up you and, can't. You and can't erase, erase. From the heart, you Oof. can't. And that's the pain. You can't. It is painful. The best way, I, the best example I can give is in the Garden of Eden, mm. there's this issue and God casts man out of the Garden of Eden. And man gets out of that Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve leave the Garden of Eden and God protects the Garden of Eden. And of course, there, there is a relationship issue between the creator and the creation, which mm. is Adam and Eve. Mm. And of, of course, uh, uh, the next generations pick up from there. Mm. You know, that there is a disconnect. Mm. That there, is there, is, a there is a breach. There is a breach of contract or relationship yes. between God and man. Guess what? It, is not easy for, it was not easy and it's never been easy for God one day to wake up and say that I'm erasing you off my heart. Mm-mm. That's why he had to send Jesus. I know, to mediate, to, bri- to build a bridge. No, it is more than that. The ego of God 
coming down. I created you. You stabbed me in the back. And now I have decided to buy you back with my son's blood. Yeah. That's how deep it is. Mm-hmm. That I'm not willing to let go. Yeah. I love you. Mm. I love you. I don't just want to see this. Mm. I can't live with this. I want you back. It's too much. If there's an opportunity that I can have you back, mm. come back. Mm. However, I give you a free will. Mm. To you decide. can choose to or not to. Mm. And I think that's what we're dealing with. Yes. That when there is an opportunity, I have regardless of what you have done to me, mm. regardless of of the pain that you've caused me, mm. regardless of the emotional damage. turmoil and damage, okay? I'm willing to forgive you. Mm. But it's your will. It's up to you. You have the free will. You have the free will. You can decide on anything. And I think that um I think knowing that alone is power before we even dive in. Knowing that humans have the free will to make a decision at any point in time, they can breach this contract or they can uphold the contract. The only thing is we our minds are usually on the positive side because that is what we want and that is how it should be because that's what gives us hope. There's there's a lot of relief mm. medicine mm. in positivity. Exactly. It is you breathe at your will not yeah. at their will. You know when someone says breathe mm. you can choose not to. Mm. But when you breathe you're like regardless of you what give I'm going the through. Freedom, yeah. Oh, mm. Jesus is still Lord. Mm. Oh, I know I'll go through it. Yeah, it will pass. Mm. You you become stronger. You, you understand? You exhale all your worries and you inhale strength and 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 energy. And I think that is that is more powerful. So you realize we are bringing in the relief before we explain. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. what the issue is because in our heads we actually know that so many people are actually doing this uh, and at different magnitudes okay yeah. we're, we're going to different the different magnitudes of how people walk away mm. from people's lives but i wanted us to to see this uh, how the contract how the expectations are written on the heart when someone tells you i love you when someone comes into agreement with you and you both love each other and time goes and sometimes you go into kuchala you go into the mikolo you make it official for everyone that means the expectations are being sedimented you know like they are being concretized it's like you're not building with just sand but you have put in cement you have put in more cement and more cement and for you in your mind it is cementing it and saying this is forever there is a ring to it and then the children come and you're like who would want to walk away from their children that is why we say for better and for worse okay and we're like we're going to remain in this ring and fight okay and we're not going to hit each other below the belt we're going to respect each other but there are rules of engagement, okay? And then uh, um, the, the children come and someone all of a sudden decides that even when we have made it official, even when there is a ring, even when there are children, even when the whole world knows that I chose you and you chose me, I still have the free will to put down this covenant and decide to walk away. Exactly. The pain exactly. that so, is involved. Yes. Now, before we get to the point where someone mm. has decided now to walk away, mm. I'll take you back. And the mm. reason as to why I do this is someone in a relationship right now mm. should listen with a second and a third and a fourth ear. Yes. Because you still have an opportunity to deal with with issues now and save yourself yes. the pain tomorrow. Hilda yes. said yes. expectations are built, built over time. I want you to listen to me. Mm. It is not just happening. Mm. It is not an accident. It is not a coincidence mm. that certain things are happening to you right now in exactly. a relationship. Exactly. When you turn a deaf ear and look the other side, you are building on a false 
completely foundation. wrong foundation with false expectations because this is what happens god gives you the opportunity to see certain things that's why you have people that are praying for you and mm. praying for your relationship and mm. your marriage mm. now when people pray god helps you see certain things right mm. now mm. the young men and the young women when you find out that that young girl that you love so much is cheating on you it is a very strong signal indicator yeah. if you think it, it it was an accident it was um what what's the right word it just word? happened it, it, one it, thing led to another no it's not one thing led to another no I know you really you, you're having an opportunity. I, I, I know you decide. really love that girl, mm. but I will tell you now. When you are seven, ten years married and find out that one of your children is not yours, to sambagala, you will to go back to that and not even walk out of that marriage. Mm. She told you crystal clear that this, this is, is who I, I am and you chose her. Mm. You had a, a, a decision to make. And you, and you made that decision to still get back to it. That's true. Yeah. Someone chooses to ghost you for for six months while in a relationship. They're yeah. not picking your calls. They're not responding so, to you. Th- They're not doing anything. As in, and then after that, they come and say, oh, I was too busy. Or I, I couldn't reach out, but I still love you. Something yeah. happened in the six I know. months. I know. You didn't address it. Yeah. But you decided because you love them so much, the love blinded you that you decided to go back and get into making it official, not knowing that three years after making it official, he's going to ghost you again from a marriage and not from a relationship this time. So, fast forward. We're going to talk about the, the place where you get to and you mm. must walk away. Mm. But I must insist... The indicators are very obvious. Mm. The signs, the signals are very they obvious. They never lie. You, you've been seeing them. So stop pretending. Mm. Address the issues on a case by case basis. Address them right now. Mm. Don't wait. Don't postpone some of these issues because they will come back when they are gigantic. They will come back when they are swallowing you. Mm. They'll come back at a time you least expect them and they will finish you. So, do you want to deal with the pain now or you'd want to deal with the pain later? Choose. Whatever pain that you choose to postpone now, you probably will have to deal with it later, but in a more bigger way. Bigger way. Mm. So, why not pay attention right now to certain things right now? You know them. Don't look you at know age. them. You know you know you know them mm. and and uh, some of them by the way, okay? Uh, some of the signals or some of uh, uh, the, you know when you when you're drawing when you're doing an, an MOU and you're doing expectations or drawing expectations I happen to be in media that's the business that I do uh, while drawing there are those that I put emphasis mm. there are certain expectations that are with a lot of emphasis and if possible with in bold mm. non-negotiable you understand this is eh, that expected. there are some i can afford to you understand mm. Mm. but gross breach of contract mm. has particular indicators and signals mm. that for those ones i am not willing and ready to even try to renegotiate mm the courts of law or something else takes over now even in a relationship a romantic relationships you should be able to look at that for example mm. when a person shows you that he is toxic mukubi mm. zimba there was a certain girl mm. that came to me a friend and she had been beaten and her eye was almost, was almost you know mm. and i asked her when did you, when was the first time you saw this did you, did he just become this Out in a marriage mm. because now they were married mm. you know and she said no i saw this when we were still dating wow. there are times we would go on a date and he would explode na kubama meza na asambe mere negweri but i was like maybe 
And then he would apologize. And he would apologize mm. and the next thing is coming with flowers so and you mm. know he's buying me a gift Chocolates and he's and bought what? me a new perfume and blah mm. blah. I was like he's a nice guy probably he's just dealing with his pain. Now they get married. When they got married, it becomes worse. Just worsened. And the girl is like I just want to escape for my life. life. Mm. Because the situation is just getting uglier. It's just getting worse. It's mm. just getting I mean it's too bad. Mm. You know, he beats me in front of people. He beats me before my only fam- my even my family members wow. even at a visitation. Wow. Very beautiful girl. This time mm. she came with this original zimbiria gala kuvam. You get the point. Yes. So there are certain she saw it. Yes. There you, you you should be sharp that you can look at certain things and be like I think some people just love the if idea called of being me in a, a relationship dog in front yeah. of my friends. In a relationship. If she called me a dog in front of my friends. That disrespect. How much more? When she when he, he or she still has a lot to lose because we are just dating. Yeah. And could not control themselves. Yeah. Aish. How much more? How much more mm. when he's given me a ring? That means I'll be an object of, you know, so, of his wrath. Some indicators. They, they don't lie. You, you, you don't have to even think twice. Mm. You're like, this is a no, no, no for me. Mm. And I'm not willing to even try. Mm. Well, because it's pain, pain, and pain. Mm. And I don't want to. Mm. So you should be able to draw. Just like I said. The expectations. Yeah, when you yeah. drink, you expect, at least you look at certain things. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Be willing to make those for tough those decisions. For those Christian girls. Mm. For those Christian girls. Even the boys. The guy to- told you, uh, and you're still in a relationship, that I don't believe in God. Mm. But and you decided, Christ- I'll, I'll make him girl. believe in God. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know. You I'll understand? do everything in my power to That's why me. you get married and he locks you in a house and says, never, ever, and don't even ever, Try mm. to think about it with my children. Mm. You understand that? And sometimes people get dreams. There is someone who told me that um, she was praying, really praying, um, uh, about the man that she was going to get married to. That's before she said her final yes. And during the prayers, God showed her certain things. When she told me those things, they were so clear and that obvious. God was telling her, leave the man alone. Like, leave the man alone. And for her, she interpreted it in a way that she wanted. You know how you can change things to suit what you want because you love the person. So you you turn it to suit what you want. You go into it and the dreams manifest the way you dreamt about them. Exactly. They manifest exactly. Exactly. So God speaks in different different ways. Let's not, I'm so glad that you brought that in because uh, before we go to the end of what the worst can be, what can happen, we should know that these things do not lie. The expectations, okay, are drawn right from the relationships and they go on growing and people breach these expectations. But we never... Uh, stand on our two feet and make proper decisions for our lives. Otherwise, if you make a proper decision, sometimes it will be so hurting in that moment, but I will tell you it's better to suffer now than to suffer later. Yeah. But even when it comes to the contracts, you know there is always that uh, that, that paragraph that um, in case you need to, to terminate, you can give in three months or it's you a termination can... Clause, yeah, yeah, yeah yes. the, termination, the termination clause. Now, most people definitely in relationship, they just up and go. Yeah. They do not warn you. They do not tell you that, oh, uh, now I'm really tired of this relationship because some of them fall out of love. Oh, they were never in love, okay? But they were just with you and now they have fallen in love with another person. Those things happen and they are j- just going. Yeah. There are those that don't like responsibility. When it, the responsibilities become tough, when the bills go high, they are like, you know what? I am not willing to do this. I would rather find someone who will take care of me instead of me taking care of them. And some men have moved away of their marriages, by the way, out of their marriages with children, left the children with the women, and they're like, figure it out. For me, I am going to look for another woman who is going to take care of me. In this age and era, there are men who have done that. And definitely there are women who have moved out of their marriages. 
and decided to just sign out and they just decided i mean i thought i loved him but i don't think i loved him enough to be patient enough i think i want to figure my way out there are so many reasons as to why people do these things but when you find yourself in that moment where someone has just chosen to say you know what um, i am not giving you a warning but I am walking away. What's the difference? And I'm not explaining. W what's the difference, Hilda, mm. uh, between one who just walks away and one who gives you a warning? Because this is me mm. thinking. Mm. By the time a person walks away physically, mm. they walked away they already long walked away. time That's ago. True. That's true. So it is the walking away long time ago mm. that I think to me uh, is more important than the physical one. Mm. It's only that we convince ourselves to think otherwise. When someone walks away while they are with you, mm. it will never lie. Yes. They are physically, spiritually, emotionally, unavailable. everything unavailable. Mm. And they don't care. Actually, the physical movement is relief. Mm. You would rather that someone walks away Yes. And now you know he has walked away. Mm. Then when they are available, but they are not available. When they are there, but they are not there. Mm -hmm. Because then, when, when do you learn to fend for yourself or fight for yourself? When you know that actually the they weight no is more. on me and I'm yeah. carrying it by myself. This is it. So most people walked away mm. way Long before time. they physically walked away. did. Mm. Okay? Physically walking away, to me, is respect. Mm. That's true. That's true. That I've respected uh, you enough to walk away. So yeah. to me, when you talk about a warning, I think you saw every sign. Mm. That you needed to see. Okay. Mm. You saw everything. Yeah. You prepare a meal for this guy. He every never day. eats. He comes back 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, does not eat. By 6, he has left. Mm. When you tell them, please... The kids are sick. Can you help me escort me to take them to the hospital? He says, I don't have time. They have a I party or something. Yeah. I am busy, but I've given you the money. Take care of it. Mm. That's if he can even give you the yeah, money. Some of them don't even give. When you tell them the kids have taken long without seeing you, can, can you spare some time at least this weekend? Mm. You at least stay with them because they keep asking me about daddy, mm. but daddy is never available. And he says, what don't, what don't they have? Mm. Don't I provide for you? Mm. Do they need me to eat me or they need the food? So when someone is giving you all of that, those are indicators. That they signed out. That they have signed out. Mm. Now, these indicators should be loud. And don't try to suppress them. Mm. Deal with the loudness therein. Mm. Because that's what gives you the embargo to deal with the built-up expectations. Mm. Because these expectations are the ones that kill us. By They're the very way. clear. Mm. The expectations here tell you i uh, speak a different language and they keep knocking at your door mm. reminding you of those days reminding yes. you of everything you used to be and used to do mm. so it is the emotional you that is failing to see the reality mm. that's why to me the warning was very clear when he emotionally signed out, signed out. Mm. so you should have or when seen she that. emotionally mm. Same, Same because though. it happens both sides. Now let me tell you, sides. Hilda. We mm. had we had an argument with Hilda about who walks out these days more. <laughs> and she said it's men that walk out more than, than women. But I will tell you, mm. it is just one woman who walks out on a man. And what she has done is a hundred times bigger than what a hundred men have done walking out. Mm. Because naturally, the women... And naturalized. It's just like we had an argument about the dress code of women mm. today. Mm. And we said, and I said, when a woman of a certain age dresses up a, a certain way and can uh, put these things out there even on social media, yeah. she's not only disrespecting herself, but she's disrespecting her son. A whole generation. You understand? Mm. You're disrespecting your own son. Mm. So women, expectations that we now of you women are higher by culture, mm. upbringing, mm. and so many other things. There are things that God deposited in women that he did not deposit in men. Mm. That uh, at home, I can see it with my, Asah my Asahel. Mm. Asahel comes to daddy to play. Mm. When Asahel is sick or when Asahel is not feeling well, does not want even to come an inch near me. Mm. He knows it that everything that he needs is with mommy. Mm. When he wants to eat, 
when mm. he wants comfort, the comfort yeah. everything that he needs he knows that can only come from mommy mm. from mama mm. mommy mm. and that's a special place for a mother mm. now whether you like it or not it is somehow god and culture and so mm. many things mm. that have made you who you are mm. so when a woman wakes up and does some of those things and walks away eh hey, mm. Fena fena tuunga mo aka 30 seconds. Twine ngiri je tuga wow. What happened? Mm. Wow, you understand. Mm. No, though lately we've been told to, to to understand that this is a gen, a different generation from your generations. Mm-hmm. This generation can do it. Mm. Anything, anything anything is, is possible. possible with this generation. Mm. We're mm. trying to adjust but mm. sometimes it's, it's a bit hard. hard. Look it's hard. at any man who is in my age bracket, mm. 45 years and above, mm. they will tell you certain things are unheard of mm. when it comes true. Mm. Oh, actually from 40. Mm. Tell you that certain things are unheard of as in bisa samaza. Mm. to us mm. because of the, of our nurturing our bringing our culture mm. our values mora- morals godliness but do you know and why so many things do you know why they're unheard of yes because women in those generations actually suffered more they suffered more but they covered up more yeah. for their husbands yeah yeah to 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 keep the chitiwa the dignity of yeah. the family and yeah. even the family where they were coming from but they actually suffered more that is why most of them are leaving their marriages at 50 years old right now yeah. they are leaving their marriages when their children go to campus then they are like you know i have not had my children they are out of my house now i can leave this chiman and she goes away that means she signed out of that marriage 30 years ago, ago. Yeah. she remained because of the children So what's making it simpler for the Gen Zs, the millennial Gen Zs in this generation is because they're like you're not giving me anything like dignity. I cannot suffer in the name of dignity. Please eat your dignity. I will decide on what needs to be done. If yeah. I feel I am suffering, I am not going to cover on your nakedness and then I suffer as a punching bag because I'm covering on your nakedness. Then who is the loser here? So that is why they can up and go anytime. Yeah. that they that they wish does not that does not solve the problem At it all. does not solve the actually, problem actually it it, uh, it it aggravates yes, yes it, it uh, aggravates the, pro- the, the the problem the problem becomes bigger because then the patients Be- because then um mm. the, the baseline here called family mm. is completely goes yeah and i think that's why the bible says the thief does not come but to kill steal and destroy mm. that now he has an opportunity to succeed Yeah, but sometimes the theme f- comes in form of the man that he has come to steal and destroy his own family or, or the woman that he has come to to steal and destroy. So what unto you if the devil uses you as a weapon to destroy your own family? I don't want us to look at the devil as the black thing that comes and he uses people He uses people. So that means if you are the weak vessel that is being used in this scenario to say you know what let me just kill and destroy this marriage and just you know and and finish it because of your ways and being adamant and you do not want to change as a man or a woman that means that you have stooped too low to be used by the devil to actually kill your own Let's marriage. Let's go back. Mm. She's got into that place where Oh he has gotten to that place mm. where the man or the woman is physically walking out. Yeah. Question is how do I handle that? I think we had that question when we were on a trip to Iganga. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? Uh, what do I do? Some mm. lady, so, was it a lady or a gentleman? It was a lady. And she had two and, children. Uh, uh, yes, what mm. do I do? And, and number one life has to go on. Yeah. Because uh, they are physically moved, they are physically gone. But you still have a life and you still have these children to take care of. Yeah. And one good thing that has happened a little bit of it to this generation is women right now mm. have learned to work. Mm. That uh, they no longer depend on a man to provide for, for everything. everything in a home. Mm. And in our generations our mothers stayed home. They took care of the home while the man worked or was the breadwinner. So these days because of because of so many single mothers who have learned who have learned to raise the families single handedly or alone mm. it's the same gospel that they have been preaching to their daughters that don't depend on a man work hard mm. because uh, anything can happen your father 
did this to us. Mm -hmm. So uh, learn to defend or fight for yourself. So there's an opportunity that girls, girls in this generation uh, uh, work hard, are working really hard. They're mm -hmm. breadwinners. I can see from the many that Hilda here accelerates every three, every quarter. Uh, 500 plus girls and you know, and uh, I see because it's mostly women. 70% of the class is women and I think they find a lot of comfort in you because you're a woman. Uh, so they learn a lot from you and they are really hard working, which is a very, very very good thing. So number one, life has to continue. The man has walked out physically, but you've stayed. You have children to take care of. Please don't try to chase after him. Do not even try to, to call him. Do not, because first things first. I know that the pain will be there, but just like you said, this person signed out long time ago. So you had a glimpse of what was happening. It was hard to admit. And now he has done you a favor that he has excluded himself. Let, 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 let's be practical. Mm. Let's be practical. Mm. By the time he moves out, mm. you had a certain measure. Because as we said, signals will not lie. Yes. Now, if the signals were there before, but the man was useless. Useless to mean mm. he was not providing for the family. Mm. He would have walked away. Long time ago, mm. after you had started seeing, because question is, when do women walk away? Mm. Women walk away when they usually sense irresponsibility in a man, mm. and they are the ones who are paying for the man's irresponsibility. Mm. So in most cases, they don't wait until you physically walk out. Mm. They walk away. Women do. You are good you are a school of fees, and you are irresponsible as a man. Mm. You are showing all these signs that you physically, emotionally walked away and you're unavailable. In most cases, you come back to a house that is empty. You find when the woman walked away mm. with her children, and she's like, never ever call me or talk to me. Mm. She, in most cases, women never wait until you physically walk away, mm. mostly if you were not providing. Mm. Now, in this case, where the man physically walks away, it's possible that the man was providing. Mm -hmm. So if the man was providing for you mm. and you were just topping up on what he provides for you, this is the advice. Cut down on your budgets. Mm. If he was renting a house of a million shillings and you can't afford it, this Get is up. wisdom. Mm. Find a cheaper house. Because what hurts at that point is mm. the woman will still think, I can call him Anyambe mm. but you know when a man has physically walked, as I said, he would yali again that da. Mm. So this one now is full a hundred percent. So when he goes, in most cases, waking up is going to take a while because mm. whatever that has taken him is working on him to forget you. Mm. It's working so hard, hundred and fifty percent to run as far as hundred and fifty percent on him to forget the children. Mm. So whoever, if it's a girl. A young girl somewhere, okay, this young girl, all that she does is to tune him to only think about her. Mm. So everything that he has, he will pour into this girl's life and there are chances that he will not be able to help you and your children. Mm. Wisdom is here. If you're earning 500,000, look for a cheaper house, mm. cut down on your budgets, mm. okay? And if it's a school, look for a cheaper school mm. and adjust accordingly. Adjust a what, whole life. Whatever, all the whatever life. that comes from that man to you should be a surprise. Mm. Should, you should be surprised that he has helped you. You should be grateful to God that he has, even if it's to buy you a kilo of sugar. Because whatever that has physically taken her or drawn her away, Taken, drawn him away, drawn him away mm. will not allow Chances you to come are, back to you. Yes, There is blackmail, a lot of blackmail. There is a lot of so many other things that are happening. and Sometimes and, witchcraft uh, is involved. Even Exactly. Mm. Okay. So, um, respect yourself enough to at start least somewhere, cut start down some, your budget, yes, and, and, and uh, focus, and start figuring out and life. start how to, to figure out how it's, to increase your it's income. It's painful, mm. but I'll tr but trust me, it's not happened. To, it's not you that uh, is the first. It has happened to so many. Mm. Several have gone through this. Yeah, you know, you one of the so many hundreds, thousands, and millions of people that have gone through it. Mm. So adjust and deal with reality as is. Mm. Tewe malamu trying to chase. 
this guy right now is not in his rightful mind to calling understand. his family it is who. it is after uh, trust me it is after some time that their hearts are drawn mm. number two to such a person if you're not the kind who prays let me tell you the bible says mm. uh god our god is a father to the fatherless yeah. and a husband to the widows you don't fit there because your husband is still alive mm. now but he will still take care of you go to this god mm. and trust him and pray i, I said it in ngigendele mm. chengeza ko gajawe chejo because the other the other one who is a widow on a bare food day mm. god steps in immediately and mm. how does he step in He will touch team. Atakumanyi uko na wada. Gambe ngenda kusuli abana wa school fees pakanga bamaze primary 7. That is God now working. Some of these things are not going to happen to you because your husband is still alive. Mm. But what you do, jawe chejo, gwa mu maso ga katonda. Pray. Mm. You have a life and you have these children with you. Mm. To malabu dem bita kuyamba, bita kuyamba, bita kugasa. Gossip, you know, Don't. stalking him. Call a waste time build a relationship with your god and trust that god to mm. help you mm. raise those children with you those are my two mm. that i'll tell and, that and, uh, cut down on your cost of living your, uh, yeah. number two sembere da makama there is a god who knows you there is a god who that loves will you fight for knows you. for you knows your children akukiririzamu akuwagala msemberere kubanga yensubuko yo that god will not let you down that's very true i want to come from the point of um the worry that kicks in when this happens even when you expected it would it would happen or the signing out happened much earlier and you actually saw it it does not take away the worry now holding on and having the wrong expectations of what's going to happen next actually prolongs the worry and prolongs the pain, the, pain yeah. the sooner you let go and just like they say you let god you know work in you it takes us back to the prayer it takes us back to say god take away this worry and instead of worry give me peace that instead of the garment of 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 what of lamenting and tears that god can give you happiness the tears may endure for a night but joy it comes, comes in, in the, morning. the morning so when you go in the place of of prayer but still agree to let this go and not hold it and want to control and have con- and, and, and and know what's going to happen because most people seek for closure do yeah. not seek for closure because you are not going to get closure you want him to uh, to look into your no, eyes and say uh, what something very interesting about the closure mm. what closure do you need i know Listen, you or actually got you the closure stayed, you needed you stayed mm. he disrespected you and disrespected himself and yeah. his children yeah. when and you walked, walked away out. yeah Okay so there is no better closure that was closure mm. that's why i said don't assume that it's just happened it happened long time ago mm. but now that it has happened i like the word let go and let god yes where you stop is where he starts mm. and god will take care of you yeah and pray for the guy whatever he is mm. because it doesn't it doesn't take away the fact that he's the father of your children mm. and he's your husband although right now he feels empete mm. muswaza now mm. muswaza na bana akoze ebyensonyi ebiswaza yeswaziza yetwe obode yemaze mu ekitibwa don't mm. go to him at that level the best you can do for him musabire mm. mm. Don't even waste your time. Bagenda kusekerera kubanga obuli yao. Waliwo. Abali bachagale nda. Abachi sabira. Abachagale nda. You can never know. So don't don't go on social media don't uh, respect yourself. Mm. Baba zaze okwe malamu bwacho. Gwetewe malamu. Gwetewe malamu. Don't stoop too low. Don't fight. So at the point the where you see the physical movement is walked away is gone, mm. let go and just let God. Mm. Give God the opportunity to work in you. He will give you the wisdom mm. on how you need to cut down on your budgets. He will put favor on you. You will find a better job. Mm. You will find yourself getting promotion. 
at your workplace mm. and favors will start swinging in from all corners. One thing, mm. don't be quick to think about getting into another relationship. Yeah. Take your time. Now, that's my number three. Yeah. Take because your time. loneliness is real. Mm. But you've been lonely. That guy emotionally signed out a long time ago. When that guy used to come back at three, in the lonely. morning, you were alone. Ako maobuchia. Olusi na tada. Na malawiki ya munga takulavi. Talavi seko. If you manage to deal with that loneliness, then. Right now, don't bring another burden into your life. Yeah. Might get worse. Because that's one of the mistakes that most people do. Mumbere yo. Jida na yangua. To get into a relationship. You are entangling you are causing more pain f- for yourself and, and for unnecessary children. pain mm. to you and your children yeah you can live without a man for a while soko bileke soko umule soka o breathing e bakwe umula ko umula ko kubanga na genze eh there is nothing you got from that mm okujja ko buvuna njibo baba na boko lachi go labirira on your own mm I think most people oh, yeah. it's it's hard to to take that because they lack the self belief that they can figure it out on their own because things are figure outable yeah. even if you eat they lack posho, the confidence even if you eat posho with salt that day has gone <sighs> even if you eat mukene silver fish with uh, posho that day has gone but day by day you are going to get stronger if you are also not that weakling that yeah. thinks mm. that forever I should be taken care of you should be able to take matters into your own hands and not be picky about what you're doing and what brings money because as you cut down your budget you should fight to elevate your income yep absolutely. what more can i do with this time yep what can i do at home yep. what can i do in the neighborhood what, open your brain yeah. Do not cocoon your brain because you have been brought up as ladies in some homes, by the way, that you're supposed to look cute and you're supposed to. So you will find a woman in that scenario buying a wig so that he can attract another man only knowing that it's uh, uh, income or money can come from a man. Yeah. Income can, can come from you. But yeah. it takes self-belief and confidence that if I know how to bake, I can start somewhere. I can start somewhere. I know of a woman who started her baking business by the flour that she had in her house, the sugar, the eggs. She looked around her kitchen and put up a post on Facebook and said that if you want cakes, please order. Someone ordered and someone sent money. She used what she had and she sent the cake. And before you, she put, she put more and people were ordering. So she used the 50,000. She was like, the 50, 000, when someone bought a cake of 50,000, I actually bought more maize flour, more sugar, more eggs, more blue band. And that 50,000 could make more two cakes. So that means I got more 100,000. 100,000 could make four cakes. That is how she's, she she's one of the best cake makers in, in Uganda. In the country. In the country. What a humble way to start. What a humble way to start by the two eggs and the quarter of the flood that had remained and everything else. And God is the master of multiplication. I know. He says, God what do you have? Yes. What do you have God in your hands? Yeah. yeah. If you know how to make samosas, if you know how to make mandazi, if you know how to... Some of us grew up on, on chapatis yeah. and karukaru. Yeah. You know? S- some so, of these podcasts, mm. if you can only listen for five minutes. Yeah. You can save yourself pain of 20 years. Yeah. And I still insist, if you're a young girl, if you're a young man, tawali ya kutuma musaji, tawali ya kutuma mukazi, linda. Go slow. Do not rush. Don't rush. If you want to learn more, we are here. We rushed. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And we got scars. We can show you the scars. We have them on our bodies. Mm. We've been burnt. We've been hurt. We've gone through pain that we wish you you should never. Mm. And I believe God allowed us to go through through some of this situation so that this Mm. we can be able to boldly and confidently share Mm. for you to learn. That take your time. There is no one that has put a gun on your head. Some of you girls have gone ahead and paid for your own introduction ceremony. Even even, even church weddings. Now what are you trying to feed? Mm. What are you trying? Why would you? Why would you set yourself up 
for that for that pain the magnitude of pain involved with a man that will never provide for that home mm. is huge. It will it's never lead. Mm. One day I was somewhere at an introduction ceremony and uh, the girl cried. Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember. She cried. I you were so. there. I was there. She came. Right after the, 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 everything was done. People right were after. leaving. People were leaving. She came to me and, and, and <sighs> fell at my feet and cried. Uh, uh, you know? You know Amogole, all the, the, what the, they call it, the makeup is all, you know. I looked at her and I, I didn't know how to help. Guess why she was crying? She bought, shopped things. Bought chairs, bought a uh, fridge, blah, 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 and gave them to the man to bring, to bring to her home. And the man sold them. Wow. So she looked in the gifts and they were not there. Now you can imagine on your introduction ceremony, you've started it with crying. Cheers. You shopped. Oh Where the man was, was supposed to deliver these things as the motuaro to your home, he couldn't afford. You went ahead. You bought them. Bought them. Gave them to him. Gave them to him. He sold them. His only and job. Appeared with his only job hey. was just even even the transport. The, the girl said that, that will beat the girl some people said, is still boiling. The girl hey. said I even paid for the transport of the things. Wow. Ngajanga yo awo awo boy kanzu. Ngalese yo bwalese. Ngabiri ya bitunze. And you're going into a marriage. And you're going into a Tell marriage. Tell me what you're walking into. So she is going to buy food through her nose. She is going to until the man will get tired and walk away. Now that man will be the one to walk away. Or she will get tired and she will give up. She will be the one to walk away. She will give up. I told you the difference. Such men don't walk away. Because you provide it. How do I walk away from a woman who is buying me food, p- pays rent, Muna buys me an, an underwear? No, People I will who cheat have and bad ca- manners. Uh, and, uh, 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 I cheat uh, and, and come I back come back so here. So that they can take care of you. Hey, what do you cheat? You can't miss the opportunity. Oh, she <laughs> <laughs> so when women walk out, women <laughs> walk out when they get tired. They are like, Nakama to kake nagula. When I buy you airtime, or kwa nambalala. I give it. Emoto kwa wembo kumole muni dono neko tono na neve ina be somba balala. So you you get to a point and you're like ne chicho. Let me give up. So it's that, that's when women in most cases that's when women walk give out. Up. They're like you know. So you come back to our house ge kutunu lide and you can't pay the rent of course. And you look but for you another nacheyo meke de. Like let me tell you men. You see men in the pants walking on the streets. Just know every man putting on a pant is not a man. Some men, are, 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 I don't know what. No, I don't know no, what. No, <laughs> like, seriously, by the time you're looking for a woman to take care of you, like you have gone away from the intention of God for your life as a man. Inspire Men Initiative <laughs> is the place to be. Can you get them got from Payogera? Inspire Men Initiative. Uh-huh. It is a place to it be. It is a place to be for such men. Uh-huh. Who when do you what? come, who do what? <laughs> who want to be taken care of? Not to you come, we beat you, we beat you, we beat you properly, so that you can be the leader that you need to be. Learn to make money, learn to look good, smell good. Okwane na bulunji. Hmm. Dakarango sika isizia. Nero zabente twenty for day one. <laughs> the thing is, I uh, 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 for anyone that is going through what we've been talking about. Learn to let go sooner than later. There's nothing you're going to do to bring that man back. Nothing. And I think we'll find time and talk about on the side of the women, why women give up, why they go. Because most of the time you'll find a man fighting to make sure that he brings back his woman. And I think it's, it's his position as a man to fight to protect his dignity Okay, and to find a way to make it work. But how does a woman, hmm? 
start to look and not a mempenda ezokuno nyomu sajje chisajje chagenzi how does a woman stand that is not your position as a woman you were not created with a mandate to go and seek and beg for a man to come and be with you no that is a man's position so let let's leave the things that belong to men to men if he walks away when, let go when men pray. walk away mm. they get to a point and they actually realize that he left gold behind and please don't let them back when he realizes that he left gold <laughs> when yeah. he realizes he left gold <laughs> behind and let walked them away let them eat their stones their bones whatever they left you for when they come back tell them we can cooperate now that's the emotional heal that's no, no 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 but, uh, <laughs> we can cooperate no 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 one just <laughs> just degrades you and disrespects you like that and then comes back I and said, says what the reason that's why i said yeah you mean how do they tw- even stand uh, uh, what pant do they put on it, while they are mentioned what the way the reason that's why i said what let go let go and let god was because when you let god work there are some there are some men mm. that um have left mm-hmm. and have gone mm-hmm. but when god's plan mm-hmm. is them to go and come back mm-hmm. and they have come back and we have seen this where mm-hmm. they have come back and have become better man better men i think you've heard of uh, this song which says abantu lwachi temuyiga Mm. But did it did say Kiriza <laughs> that ogaya uh, cholina no kizanyisa until it's taken away from you. Mm. But when it's taken away from you that's when you realize how important it was. Mm-hmm. And then you come back. Mm-hmm. And sometimes God has allowed some of these things to happen. But that is what I'm saying. But I'm saying mm. I'm saying when you open up the door this time around with caution let them be, prove themselves be, for 5 years yes walk them through <laughs> building the trust nebilala 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 mm. for them to be able to earn it but as i said women, there are some men who women. have been stupid who have done stupid things mm. and they have gotten to a place where they realize i was stupid mm. the only thing that best thing that ever happened to me is my nalongo Mm. But let him come back. My my point is, let him come back and not just pave a curtain and just enter like he's entering the bathroom. Okay? Give him a run for his money. As in, let him find you when you are also on your way to minding your business and doing your own things. Let him chase. Let him beg. Let him pray. Let him seek the Lord. Let him go to the prayer mountain. Let him don't make things easy. Let him go vulungula. <laughs> <laughs> Let him, but those things of he has just given you a phone call and all your softening up and then when he comes back he realizes uh he has, she still has that demons of not believing in herself and lack of confidence like she had now I can live again Let him work for it let him pay another bride price yes take him to your family and tell him that you know what you walked away went with the nache umbekede and you had your own fun now that you want to come back go and reintroduce me back to my parents put certain things so that his head will understand that you are not that just any rubbish that can be tossed around by wind mwategede <laughs> shinaba I, I, I'm confident I can't win this I can't win this argument I definitely you're not winning but teba kusanga we ba kuleka mukaze munange teba kusanga we ba kuleka tambula tambula mairo chikumi in the opposite direction baba kwagala nyu let him pay the price to the gentleman when you re- <laughs> do not shy away from returning to your home and to your family and I'm very serious now I want the camera to look my, my fellow friend and fellow man when god helps you mm. you get to a place where you realize you, you made a up. mistake and you know it and you can't baptize it either you made a mistake okay you deviated you caused pain you hurt this woman you hurt your family you hurt your children please don't shy away from going back to your home mm. that's what a real man does go back on your knees go back to your woman go back to your family go back to your children and seek an opportunity seek a second chance seek for a reconciliation a reconciliation seek for a way to return if it means doing anything for your home drop the ego drop the pride drop everything else and do the needful you need your family you need your home you need your wife you need that nalongo 
You need that woman, you need your children, you need your family. That is from me, a man. That's what I would do. And that's what I'm asking you to do. Don't come back entitled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>